Hi YouTube, today I'm going to be giving a series and making a new one called What's on my start screen? And it'll be in an episode listing form factor. So I'll pick out some apps that really matter when it comes down to productivity. And also I'll pick some sweet pastime apps that include some fun apps that'll keep you entertained while hitting the grind in your work or school life. This series will consist of picking apps and there will be many instances where I'll compare them. I'll give you a brief description on what the app is and why it would be good for you. Also, some of these apps may or may not be free. You might have to pay for them. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first app that I want to introduce is Search All. This app is a program that allows you to conveniently search anything that you want with all the search engines that are at hand on this screen. So if I wanted to look for the Razer Blade laptop and go into Google, the browser using the Internet Explorer 10 will come up and it'll show me all these results right here. If I wanted to search on YouTube, that'll come up as well. So that search result is given and such. The reason why this app would be convenient is instead of having a separate app for Google, a separate app for Yahoo, a separate app for YouTube, it's all there all in one. And it gives you the peace of mind of having not to switch out and back in and back out. So that's a cool app that I'd like to go ahead and mention. The next app is something very cool. It is a live tile and what this tile does is it gives you the time. Now the reason why it would be good is for instance if you are in your start screen and you have them next to your main tiles instead of having to go to the charms bar and look at the time or going onto your lock screen to look at the time it's there in front of you. So the way that you use it is when it comes up it's going to allow you to locate where you are so it can determine you know the the time settings it allows you to customize it 12 hour or the 24 hour format bitmap which would be animated the light or dark foreground and the font can be changed as well and as well as the size so let's try 70 see what that does and then you can change the color as well so once the, that setting is changed you go over to your start screen and it'll end up changing so as you can see, it has transitioned into my new design. Uh, it has green and it has a light font to it. Yeah, so that is time tile. The other app would be ping. This has the ability to show you in one increments the ping and you most likely will determine this whether your network is healthy or whether there is a bandwidth hog on your network as well. So if we go into the app right here, we get, go ahead and see this. If I were to press play, and type in google.com, I can see whether the ping is high or low. Green is good, orange is bad, I believe brown is really bad, and then red has just failed. So you don't wanna get in red and you don't wanna get in orange because you might be in the 800s or higher. And also you can do another one if you feel like it. So press play like that. And then also you can put this on the side. So for example, if you see that, that has failed as well. So the next app is called Reckless Racing Ultimate. Now this app is a paid app and it retails for $9.99, which would be $10. Now this is by far the funnest app currently in the store as of the end of October, 2012. Um, and like I said, it is a paid app. It would be worth it if you want to pass the time while waiting in an airport, board it on a social network and you just don't want to chat anymore. Or even, even if you just love procrastinating, that would be a great game for that. So let me show you exactly what this game is like. So the graphics, as you can see, are pretty awesome, whether it be on the computer or a tablet. You have options to go ahead and customize your, your car with those options, the handling and the tire. You can also customize it by painting it and customizing the wheels. So for example, here, there, those are a bit expensive. And also you can see your stats and you can see the other cars that you own. So just to give you an example on how this game plays, I'll show you right now. It's gonna be cool.
So as you can see, that game seems pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed that app. So let's get out of here and go on to the last app, which is Skype. It actually finally entered the Metro scene and I love it for the RT version of Windows 8. Now Skype allows you to go ahead and make IM and video calls and voice calls as well. It has a full screen environment which is meant perfectly for, you know, a one on one connection with you and your partner. So for instance, this guy right here, I'll just say hi, a recording right now. And it's just very intuitive because, you know, you don't got all these borders and it, it just feels like you can connect without being interrupted unless, unless there's, you know, other things that you do have to do. And going on to your people, you can see who's available. You can see all and then you can see your favorites. And then you can go ahead and do a voice group chat. So this is a great app, Skype. I would really recommend it, whether it be a desktop application overall or the Metro app. So this is the conclusion of our five apps for this week. If you guys really enjoy these apps that are, have been presented, go ahead and search for them. They are listed as said. So if you wanted to go to the Microsoft store, all you have to do is just type in search all. Chances are that thumbnail will go ahead and pop up. Time tile, ping, and reckless racing utility, and as well as Skype. So those are the five ones that I picked for this week. If you guys want to stay tuned for the next episode, go ahead and do that and subscribe for more. All right. Take care, guys.